IFRS 15 looks at revenue from contracts with customers. And it's really a quite recent standard. It's merged two previous revenue standards together where we used to look at risks and rewards and whether they transferred. Now there's a five step approach to recognizing revenue. We're gonna walk through each of those steps and maybe look at how they've impacted businesses as we go. The first thing to do is determine, is there a contract? And that seems quite simple and that's quite straightforward. But that has changed some revenue for businesses because previously they might have had minor income streams like income from licensing and they recorded those in other income towards the bottom of the P&L. But actually that comes from a contract. So now it has to be included within revenue. The second step is to identify the performance obligations within that contract. And you might have a contract that say sells a machine, installs a machine and then trains staff to use those machines. Well, that would have three separate performance obligations. And a company would have to look at that because there's going to be a recognition element that is different for each of those. The third step is to look at determining the contract price. Now in many contracts that'll be fixed, but in things like airlines, there might be elements of compensation if their flight is delayed or canceled. And that'll be known as variable consideration. And if that's the case, companies have to account for what's the probable amount of variable consideration that will not be recognized. So airlines giving compensation would actually be reduced from their revenue rather than recorded as a separate expense. The fourth step will be then to allocate that contract price to the separate performance obligations. So you'd have to look at the total contract value and then maybe allocate this amount goes to the sale of the machine, this amount to the installation of the machine, and this amount to the training of staff. And once you've worked that out, the fifth and final step is to actually record the revenue as the performance obligations are satisfied. So the day you deliver a machine, you recognize the revenue on that part. The day that you turn up and install the machine, you can recognize the revenue on that part. And then the period that you train the staff, you either recognize that maybe when you finish the training or if it's going to take a significant period of time, you are likely to be able to recognize that over time as you do the training. So IFRS 15 gives a, a five-step approach, which is aimed to give companies a lot of guidance in maybe the more complex contracts to when can they recognize revenue and actually how much revenue they're allowed to recognize.